Algebra 1, Lesson 8, Area. We'll be doing practices A, B, and C. Uh, we have to find the area of a funny blocky shape, a trapezoid, and a circle. Starting with A. <coughs> they give us this shape, ask us to find the area, and tell us that all dimensions are in inches. Uh, so the easiest way to do this is to cut it into two shapes we know. So if we draw this dashed line right here that cuts it into a big rectangle, a small rectangle, we can find those separate areas, add them together, and then we have the total area. The area of the small rectangle would be the base of 6 times the height of 2, which makes that one 12 inches squared. Here, this one would be the base of 9 times the height of 5, which gives us 45 inches squared. Now we wouldn't use the length of 15 because that is the base of the long side. That doesn't, that doesn't, that would give us the area of a shape like this. That would not give us the area of this uh, rectangle right here. So once we have found our two areas of the two separate shapes, we just go ahead and add those together. 45 plus 12 gives us 57 inches squared and that is our final answer. Now on to B. Uh, they give us this trapezoid and they tell us to find the area and they tell us that the dimensions are in feet. Now I've drawn it twice because there's two different ways to go about this. Uh, you can cut it into a triangle and a square or a rectangle, triangle and a rectangle, or you can cut it diagonally into two different triangles. Now I'll go over the rectangle and the triangle first. Uh, to do that, we had realized that the base of the rectangle is the short side of 7, and the height is 4. That gives us 28 feet squared. And then here, to get the base of this triangle, we'd have to subtract 10 from 7, which gives us 3. So this side, this piece from here to here, is 3, and the height would also be 4. So we would take 3 times 4, divide it by 2, uh, and that would give us 6. So the area of the triangle is 6 feet squared. Uh, if you can't remember, we're using the equation base times height divided by 2 for the triangle. From there, we just add 6 feet squared and 28 feet squared together. That gives us 34 feet squared, and that is our area. Now, to do it the other way, if we cut it into two triangles, uh, we don't actually have to find any missing pieces because we have the base of this triangle is 7, the height is 4, and the base of this triangle is 10, and the height is 4. So we would just do base times height divided by 2 twice. We would take 7 times 4 divided by 2 for this first triangle, and then 10 times 4 divided by 2 for the second triangle. So the first one we get 28 over 2, which is 14, so triangle 1 equals 14 feet squared. Uh, this next one we get 10 times 40, oh I'm sorry, 10 times 4, which gives us 40 over 2, which means that that is going to be 20, so triangle 2 is 20 feet squared. We add 14 and 20, and we get 34 feet squared. So you get the same answer either way. Uh, you just need to cut it into shapes you know, find the area of those shapes, and add them together. Uh, the last one. We have to find the area of a circle if they tell us the radius is 5 centimeters long. So we have to memorize the equation pi r squared. That will give us the area of a circle. So pi r squared, to, to fill this in we would just fill in the number 5. So it's pi times 5 squared, 5 squared is 25. So it would be 25 times pi would equal our area. So all we have to do is take 3.14, multiply it by 25, and then we get our area, which is 88 uh, 0.5 cent. Sorry, let's rewrite this a little clearer. 88.5 centimeters squared, and that's your final answer.